Carol's That's for the okay. northern. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You heard the stories from the Cree. Oh, crap. We're going to need some more. Not sure about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Cree, they tell a lot. It sounds so... This, yeah, no, this sounds like a, almost like a movie that I've seen, maybe. Like, okay. You guys spend the night. Okay, you return go. the next day. So... Uh, Endicott's willing to tell you some more. Oh, yeah. uh, he's very nervous about it. Um, he says, what I'm about to tell you must be kept in the strictest confidence. Of course. Of course. I am not even today sure what I saw. But I'd swear before a judge that I'm, what I'm about to tell you was not some dream or fantasy concocted to get me out of that horrible, horrible house. And I'm certain no matter how impossible what I'm about to tell you is, it is the truth. The howling of wolves that was common around Elger House, but on the third night of my stay, it seemed louder and more persistent. The moon was full that night, as it had been the night before, and the heat oppressive. Because remember, he was in there in the summer. I had opened my window only cracked, not wanting bats or other nighttime prowlers to blunder into my barricaded room. I tossed and turned relent- restlessly, but I couldn't sleep, and sometime in the early hours of the night I heard some noise on the yard behind the house, as if several people were moving about. I crept to the window and peeked out to see a half dozen or so men in the overgrown backyard, a wide section that was not taken up by crops that were farmed near the house, and nearly every piece of ground for that one. They were all naked, and they spoke in hushed tones. When one gestured back towards the house, I ducked out of sight. When, next, when I next looked out the window, the men were gone. To my horror, standing on the lawn, what appeared to be several large wolves. He angered about a few moments before taking off to the east. I kept a terrified vigil at the window, afraid of what I would see, sleep the farthest thing from my mind. Several hours later, the wolves returned, dragging several large objects. I would only assume were hunks of meat. They, this, they, these they piled up, falling upon several of them to sate their terrible hunger. And then a woman appeared at the end of the lawn, seemingly out of nowhere. She too was naked and had long gray hair, but she seemed young. No, I'm not certain of that. She, she didn't move like an old woman, however. She had a streak of what might have been brown hair running down the center of the rest. I felt sure she was going to be torn apart by the beast, but she instead spoke to them quietly in words I could not understand. She petted things, and they were like pets, and seemed to speak back to her. I turned away from the window for a moment to try to compose myself from the horror I was seeing. When I next looked, the woman was gone, as were the wolves. Some of the eldermen stood there naked. They took the meat or whatever the wolves had left piled and returned to the house. I fell back into my bed and slept only fitfully until morning, glad I barricaded the door as best I could. I left the next morning, early as I could get away, taking my samples and notes with me back to town. I told the elders I was going to send the notes and impressions back to Baltimore and send for several more plaster of Paris, but I took the first train I could east to Maryland and have never stepped foot in West Virginia since. I sent the elders $300 in a letter of apology, noting that I had things to attend to at home and thanking them for their help, but otherwise saying nothing about what I had seen. Too fearful that I had seen too much. In the time since, I've, uh, I've been doing my own research. I brought this from home. It's got a book on this desk. It says, The Book of Werewolves, uh, by Serene Baring Gould, uh, is on the title. I've been looking up at whatever I could, uh, uh, listening, finding folklore and myth. Uh, weapons pass through these creatures from everything that I can read. They, they might be susceptible to silver, but that seems to be a newer. But that seems to be a newer. But that seems to be a newer myth, uh, according to. European folklore, they have a, an aversion to wolfsbane, monk shoe, which is a plant. Yeah. That's all I can tell you. That's all I saw. Do I know if wolfsbane grows near either the Baltimore area or the area of Wolfsbane? Uh, you don't, off the top of your head. It's do not, I know? not where you're from. Huh? Do I know with my botany degree? You can yeah, do botany, yes. Do I know anything with natural world? Life? No, so because that, you're going to be nope. limited to what you know of the West. I hate that whole thing. Do I still have those silver bullets from when we caught I mean, that revenant? Do you? Do you? Yeah. Or just leave them in a gun and at some point shoot them off? Yeah, no, I'd mean, probably keep them. I'm okay. okay. yeah, 100% positive. You can do natural world. And I got more made. Wait, yeah, you're from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can do natural world. 
I've only got 18 total, though. Read it. Uh, it's not really indigenous to this area. I don't think. You know what? I can look that up. So sorry. <laughs> you look up monk shoot and see if they've got like a map of where it grows. In Wolfsbane, right? Mm-hmm. I can I'll just go here. over to the uh, one of the departments that I think might have it, and I'll ask them. We're already on the college campus. Uh, okay. You can look into that. Or what? Okay, I promise you and yes, you find it pine, pine skags. Uh, Wolfbane kind of is northern European. That's Vengus. Where? It says on the. Oh, yeah, it's northern European. So it's not common in the United States. I'm going to check it. Might okay. It might have been brought over. Okay. It might have been brought over, and there might be at some places, but I don't think it's like natural for you. Yeah. So that's why I was going to check at the college. In the okay. mountains of parts of the northern hemisphere. Uh, they don't have any. They don't have any. Yeah, it's just a. Flowering plant. They can give you a description of it. It's like got bells. It looks like bells. Hang on. And it's blue. Very nice. They're very pretty flowers. Is there anything else you guys wish to know from Indica? Yes, Clyde Skaggs has taken the nom de plume of Jefferson Mangum. He thought that the name is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a in Australia. Is it? Okay. This time of year, it's probably very hard to find. Because flowering plants are just weeds right now. Hey, you know who likes weeds and herbs? Mr. Craig. <laughs> Clyde. <laughs> Clyde oh, yeah, Clyde, Clyde Scraggs might have a. Oh, it's, he asked you not to tell anybody <laughs> willing Clyde Scraggs' real name. He doesn't wish to cause. He was a roommate freshman year. Oh, yeah. Um, he are actually you mentions that. aware of what his practice is now? Uh, he, well, he only went to the, he only went to school for one year, my freshman year, and then he left. He said he was seeking his fortune elsewhere. Um, I don't know what he does right now. I know he has a store. He's selling some kind of tonics or elixirs or, or something. Uh, also, I would appreciate if you do not mention me to the elders. Of course. Uh, I don't know if what I saw, it, it might have been a dream. I don't want to know that. <laughs> don't, don't say that. Uh, I would also appreciate if you don't mention anything about Clyde to the elders. I bear him no ill will. Well, you know that they do a lot of business. Well, no, you guys know they do a lot of business with Clyde. Um, the dental impressions I took showed teeth that were more and more primitive. Larger canines, sharpened incisors. Not at all normal. Before I saw what I thought I saw, uh, I would have attributed that to the degeneration of of them through their inbreeding, but now I don't. Now I'm not so sure. Uh, I can lend you that book if you wish. He gestures towards the werewolf book. I think it could be no. useful. <laughs> it was published some ten years ago by Frenchman, by uh. Savine Varen Gould. Alrighty. Also, I guess the some point on the way. He wants to get your name and like your address. So. He's lending you the book. You grabbed it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so so he'll know if he would like it back at some point. Um, but yeah. Well, no, secure, no, just take it, but don't say anything to me about the uh, about the elders. Don't say anything to the elders. He's very, very flustered. Don't th- say anything about to the elders about me, please. Thanks for the Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah I was about to say, Merry uh, Christmas. He's so, like complaining through the whole description of all the atrocities. I guess on the way back, I might want to pick up an almanac or something and find out when the next full moon is. Oh, yeah, you could easily do that. Or find calendars. Uh, it's not uh, till January. I think it's uh, mid-January. Do you like the 11th? Oh, nice. Yeah. Or a cast. December 12th is our full moon. Yeah, we're past that. You also mentioned Ebenezer Ott. Yeah. Quite a few Old times. Man. Yes. On the wheeling area. He, bought, he sold the land to them, didn't he? Mm-hmm. No. It says uh, north of. No, he settled north of Ebenezer Ottaines. Ebenezer Zane. Yeah, different guy. Okay. Yeah, 21st of January is the next full one, so we have. Yeah. Yeah. 
You know, they turn into wolves. We got silver. It's true. I've got enough for all. I still have some <laughs> silver arrows left over from our adventures in that one town with the, uh... Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that thing. I'm gonna hit you. 45! You also have a magic arrow. Yeah. You, you also have magic. That could have effect on them. Magic doesn't care. If... Maybe. Maybe, exactly. Right. But that thought pops in your head when you're talking about silver. Let's right. find some silver and some Okay. Can't wait for Tulilga to make some black bullets. Trains are really full this time of year. Yeah. You're not able to get uh, uh you're not able to get places on a train until the twenty third. Okay. But that should get you back to Wheeling uh by early morning hours of the twenty fourth. Okay. So you have to spend an extra night in Baltimore. Let's find some silver. Uh okay. There's silverware for sale everywhere, like solid silver all kinds of crap. What do you want to buy? We got what's well, Baltimore. If you want to buy it, you can probably find it here. Probably get a silver knife, maybe. Why not? You can find a silver knife. I have a silver knife. Right. Just double the price can of I, anything. Can I in get the a list. silver Arkansas toothpick? Can that the James? Oh yeah. Do you know a uh sure. A toothpick. It's double whatever the cost in there is. What? Do you know if I could attach a bay in that silver tester? No, it's not built for a bayonet okay. attachment. Um, Can you see us inside for a while? You Can possibly could do so for the musket know, that you've got. Um, I don't or, really want to use or that like, for um, long. Okay. Because it's only good for one shot and then I'm sitting to... For you might be able to find, like... They, like they, it's not a spot for bayonets, but they do make bayonets that go in barrels. It's yeah, but the problem not, is then you can't shoot the gun. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, it's yeah. not... A good idea, but they exist. Yeah, we're wrapping up here in the next. I'm just trying to check the weather. Very short time. We'll be wrapping up in 15, 20 minutes. Stuff. You guys aren't going to make it back to Wheeling this game session. Here's my question. Next weekend is James Brown's birthday weekend. He's coming back to town, I think, that weekend. Aren't you, James Brown? Uh, I'm trying to, yeah. Um, Should be able to. Do you guys want to try to run, play again next Sunday? I know James wants to. So I'm throwing it out there to get kind of a general consensus first. I should try, because if everything works okay. out, I'll get a Well, I would like to try to run the Wheeling West Virginia crap all together. And I'm assuming it'll take either two or three sessions to finish out. Okay. Um, depending upon you guys and a lot of other things. This went about the right, about as far as I thought it would get tonight. Um, is that workable? You're, you're key, Ashton. This yeah. is all your background history and stuff. That should be good. Albert! Fuck, he's a werewolf! Don't get around him, Albert! I expect that to happen next Sunday. Yeah. Anyway, um, okay. So I'll schedule one for next Sunday. That's why they're hanging out. Because that's just cool. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I've been hanging out with werewolves. <laughs> they're so cool. Hey, Albert, you want to see werewolves? I thought the wolves. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What are you making a roll for? It's past the 21st. Oh, goddamn. It is. What? Anybody can just use a spear? Oh, okay. What? A spear and a brawl? Yes. Oh. Fighting spear slash brawl. So that's either one, right? I, would, I, don't, I don't have to look it up. Probably. Four more days. So Christmas. Christmas Day, you could learn a spell. Merry Christmas. Okay. Oh, Here's your sanity blasting spell. Oh. Lucky, lucky you. Oh. All right, what are you learning? I'm learning candles. Oh. Not you. So many stuff. Okay. All right. Um... One quick thing on the 21st. You guys aren't leaving until the 23rd. Yeah, I'm probably good in Baltimore. 21st! What? It's the Lloyd. Oh, well, when do I finish? I can finish my scoop. It, it's going to take you a while. Okay. You've got all the stuff for it, though. You've got everything you need to put it together, you think. Okay. But it's going to take you some downtime to just do it. Okay. But yeah, I'll, you'll get it. Uh-huh. Um, hey, Professor Stalloy, you're in your hotel room. You sleep and you wake up. There's like a scratching at the window. Oh, yeah. no! Oh, what do you, do? you walk over to the window. You're on like third or fourth floor. It's really high. Yeah. Um, there's there's nothing there. Mm-hmm. You open mm-hmm. the window. The cold breeze blows in. You kind of peek out. You know, not far enough that something would be like, yeah. and you peek out and nothing's there. No kitty cat. Is there a certain person spell? <laughs> <laughs> no. When you when you go and turn back to your bed, there is a cat <laughs> sitting on your bed. Uh, it looks at you with intelligent eyes. What are you doing? You're terrified. Maybe it's any check. This is the best time to be a serpent. Let's go. We're in a big city. 
Uh, I failed the sanity check. Okay, you're you're like yeah. I just, I just fall I just fall into a bow. Like oh, full, like full on the ground oh, bow. Oh, so you're like groveling in front of the yeah. staff. Okay, uh, hear a voice from the direction of the bed. Mm-hmm. Do you look up? Are you looking no. up again? Okay. Um, the wolf is widespread and hurts my mistress' children. As does its kin. There is a traitor in the midst of them, hidden in sleep. Deal with him as you will. He is no longer one of hers, but belongs to the wolf. Stop the others that kill her children. Could you repeat that? Do you look up? Yeah. You look up, and the whole room is like... It's like a Picasso painting. It's Uh wrong. And then you realize the reason why is because you're looking straight up at the ceiling as you wake up. All right. From whatever dream that you just had. All right. You look around the room. There's no cat. The window's closed. There you go. Okay. You're in a cold sweat. Yeah, that's the night of the 21st. Okay. Uh, do you guys want to buy anything? Silver stuff? You can. Surfing Hold folks for a dollar a piece, right? Surfing folks spell. You casting it? You yeah. more? Uh, okay. Ashton's going to complicate everything here. <laughs> I have no idea. She won't be able to start surfing you. Well, she did. She's in that spot. Uh, you're not picking up anybody in, in within a mile, five miles of five. your hotel. Okay. Five. Yeah. Hey, there you go. I'm assuming you're sharing a room with her too. Yeah. She's too big to be wishbone. How much are arrows? <laughs> <laughs> if you want silver bullets, they're a buck a piece, but you're gonna have to wait for somebody to make them for you. There's a problem. Oh. Yeah, I think arrows um, would be even shittier chances of making Now, silverware, oh. knives, forks, spoons, that kind of shit is common. You can find that. Um, Anything oh, else you can think of? Wait, what about the wait? Boys? Isn't your mirror, your mirror silver, isn't it? Wait, what? Isn't your mirror that you bought? Didn't we just it have is. That silver? Okay. It is silver. Oh, mirror. Yeah. Bowie knives and stuff are going to be you have to wait to have it made, yeah. Oh, okay. Whereas like just a like a kitchen knife will do a D four. Um, oh, okay. But it's just like you know, it's like a silver knife that you get with silver. Because I I did have a total a of silver of eighteen bullets. Okay. Because okay. I, I made I got more made. Get some Mexico balls made out of silver. Right? Yeah. Again, it's going to take time. Okay, okay, never mind. And in Baltimore, if you guys are going to leave by the 23rd, you won't have enough time. Uh, yeah. uh, 2.30 p.m. 23rd is when the train will be leaving Baltimore. Um, and again, that should get you, 15 hours should get you to wheeling around 6.30 in the morning. You can send a telegram on ahead. So Jane will be there to pick mm-hmm. you up. She's happy to pick you up. I guess I'll just work on the scoop. There you go. Anything else anyone wants to do in Baltimore? Because we're going to wrap up uh, before you guys get on the train. I think that's the best way to go at this point. Hey, where the hell's arrows at? Back. Back it up. Back, back, back it up. Bow and arrow? Bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. Is there a price? There's no cost, but that's also the bow and the arrows. Uh, That's probably because you have to make it yourself. Um, You could probably find some arrows for, like... I need the silver ones. Yeah, they'd be, they'd be like a dollar each. And have to be specially made for you. Unless you just take an arrow and like... <laughs> I mean, if I could knife on it, say you could and hope for the best, you could I would say you could probably still shoot that, but the range would be halved. You know what I mean? Take a knife, remove the handle, split the arrow, place it in... Again, it's gonna be top heavy, so you're gonna have you can have you can make a you can do a makeshift one. Hi. Will I have time doing? before we leave to get silver arrows? Probably not before you leave Baltimore. No, uh, in Wheeling, you guys have as much time as you want to spend. I mean, yeah, in Wheeling, I'm gonna get more made and just collect them later. Uh, you found out that it's gonna be a few weeks before the next full moon. Yeah, we really don't want to wait until they're strongest. Well, yeah, until then, normal bullets might work. Um, we also can't just go shooting people. Yeah, we can. Jack West. Jack West, you're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> I now. just kill and bred people. Down. It's okay. I remember Book of Werewolves. It's exactly like McCree. Oh, <laughs> and my policeman who was with you. Do you like, want to read Book of Werewolves? Yeah. You got like a day to kill. Yeah. Um... English, Sabine Batting Gould. That was the best. Published 1865. Cool. Um, it looks like a serious study of information regarding lycanthropic and cannibalistic myths and folklores in Europe. 
contains chapters on North shapeshifters, beliefs and lycanthropy during the Middle Ages, uh, Jean Grenier, International Folklore, Natural, ca natural Causes of Lycanthropy, Mythological Examples, The Marchal de Retz, and Crimes of the Beggars Sweet and Stories of Parisian Ghouls in Chapter 15. Um, you get three points in a cult for reading the book. As opposed to being like a Cthulhu Mythos Tome, this appears to be like an occult book. Alright, so, let's, we're gonna, we'll stop on the 23rd as you guys are getting ready to board the, the train head back to reading. Comments, questions, suggestions? Sam, what'd you think? Were you bored out of your mind? No. Okay, yeah. Well, that's all I ever really for. She just got tired of this problem. Problem. I so we what? Talk, we talk. I really thought we I was going to get to use this problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, no checks yet. <laughs> you will. Keep it. Put it with your character sheet. Oh, my God. Say what? <laughs> what? What are you doing then? I just have a prop that I was thinking we were going to use it around Christmas. <laughs> okay. What else? Was this boring? This was the research. There was research. a lot of research on this one. I'm yeah, that's, that's not my guy's strong suit. House. Nobody went to the newspapers and so sad. Well, I've never had time. <laughs> no, you guys did kind of jump head to Baltimore pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can do it when we get back. You still possibly have time, yes. I kind of wanted to go there and make them start something and then just kill them. Oh, can I increase skills? Uh, no. We're still in the middle of a scenario. Bam. Bam. Wait till <laughs> we go through the whole scenario before you increase skills. Where the heck is my paper clip? It's gone. There are no paper clips in hell. Sarah, Weisfeld Meadows. Uh, what did you think of your family? Yep. Ashton, did you was that did I handle that okay? Yep. Hey, I'm trying to fill since, in. Since uh text don't update, can coins stick to coin session? Yes. Okay. Aw. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is your history. Put that with your cash sheet, I have to read it. Or your journal. I'm gonna use these coins to be awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're gonna die. There's a whole bunch of people. people. They're all werewolves. We're all gonna die. We're all dead. You got a few names. No, no, no. We're good. Where's that black binder? I'm actually really good at brawling, so <laughs> yeah, I can. I'm stand. gonna punch these werewolves right oh, in the face. Well, no, 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 no. Brawling works for stabs. I'm gonna stab these werewolves right in the face. Yeah, he gets it. <laughs> oh my god, what's that about? Put that on the other side. That's just until uh, or that's just in case I run out of bullets. And I know freaking Weiswald stabs the shit out of things. Well, I enjoyed y'all's role playing. <laughs> that was fun. I, I enjoyed it. We had a lot of silly moments. It's not about silly. It's all about silly. It's not about silly. Hey, was fun. There's a lot. I got a lot of props here. Ah. Nah. Are you them for me? Well, as long as I handle your relatives fine, I'm happy. Hey, Jefferson Magnum. Magnum. He's your best friend, aren't you, Colin? No, he's not. Don't you pay him $50? I'm going to throw him to the werewolves. First time to get it. Oh. Oh, that's not nice. His real name is Clyde. His social security number is this. Clyde Skaggs. He said he hated y'all because y'all were stupid and snowy and snowy. All right, so I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna prep a uh, game session for next Sunday. Combat heavy, combat heavy. What it sounds like. Yeah, Mango said y'all were smelly and you urgent. This pungent. <laughs> This whole write-up is very sandboxy, and you guys can make it into whatever you want oh, to. Yes. If you want it to be combat heavy, it'll be combat heavy. I prefer not to die. That's okay. always a bad thing. Everyone dies. I feel like we're going to end up in that place, whether we try to or not. <laughs> I, I just prep nature. I prep everything. I got the house ready. It sounds like there's going to be a shit ton of werewolves, though. Like six werewolves yeah. and then a what bunch of ladies with guns, right? probably. A bunch of ladies with guns. <laughs> well, because it sounds like the men turn into werewolves, the women don't. Yeah, that again. That spells out of those in one hit. Oh, God, yeah. Which is. Shoot the women first? <laughs> 
Women and children first. So the, oh, yeah. Oh, we should turn everything off. Goodbye!